are on. Okay. So we're going to start with your big red ball. Get your band and your little purple balls. And you're going to take your ball all the way to the top of your mat, wherever you think of it, the front of your mat, and put your purple balls and your yellow strap where you think you'll be able to reach them. And then sit down in front of your big stability ball. Okay? And then the best way to do this, if you don't mind, is just pulling your pants touch down, bearing a little bit of skin. That's what sticks to the ball for you. It's a little awkward, but it's helpful. And it's best if it's in your lumbar spine, because we're going to do some rounding forward, and I would like a lot of your spine to be free to come off of the ball. So you want to stick to the ball pretty low. Once you get, they like to travel. Once you get your back stuck to the ball, you can use your hands, kind of pick up your hips off the mat, walk your feet back a teeny bit tighter. You have to be able to sit again, though, okay? And then try to walk your feet as wide as your mat. You guys all have the mirrors above you. You can look up and see if your ball is centered on your mat. If it is, line up your feet with the edges of the mat. If the ball is not quite crooked, obviously line it up accordingly, right? Okay, everybody feels stuck? You should literally feel like you're lodged between the floor and your ball, right? Like the ball is kind of pushing you forward. All right, and then feet wide. Let's bring the elbows inside the knees and hands into prayer. Try to bring your hands down into one straight line. That should be a groin stretch, just bringing the hands into that line. A little one, right, for some of us, a bigger one for others. Okay, keeping your hands there. Let's start playing with the feet. Maybe so you can see my feet. Okay. I want you to pick up the outer arches of the feet. Pick up the pinky side of the foot. But see if you can keep your big toe down, the index knuckle down. And then softly squeeze your knees in on your elbows. If you get the hands down, so forearms are one straight line across, when you squeeze in, the elbows won't go anywhere. And then suck your low belly back like you're lifting the low belly, the middle abs outside of the pelvic bowl, pulling back into your ball. At the same time, put a little bit of pressure in the feet like you're going to slide the mat forward. Nothing major, just enough to turn your sitting bones under a touch. Not a lot. Okay, inhale like this. Exhale, soft squeeze from the knees, little lift in the outer toes, try to spread them. Lift your low belly, middle abs up inside the ribs, try not to crush your ribs. Little pressure in the feet. Keep all of those going at once for one more breath. Inhaling, let your ribs open. Exhaling, knees squeeze softly, roll to inner foot, lift low belly in and back, lumbar spine coming into your ball deeper. Last one like that, I forgot to start our timer. Inhale, let your ribs open. As you inhale, try to roll to inner foot, squeeze the knees in on your elbows, lift your low belly out of the pelvic bowl. Good. All right. From there, I want you to think about your right knee pushing the entire prayer left to open the left knee up further. Let your left foot lift on the inner arch a little bit. That's okay. Roll to the inner arch of your right foot, letting outer right arch lift. At the same time, lift your right shoulder just a touch and try to hollow the collarbone, bring the shoulder forward. Think about opening up the ribs on the right side and taking your ribs away from the left groin. So there's a little diagonal. Knees are going left, ribs are going right. Feel your right hand. Push a little more firmly into the left now. Feel your left shoulder roll a little forward. Try to pull the belly out of that hip. You should feel a little groin stretch, a little hip stretch. And then switch. Your left knee pushes the prayer over into the right knee. The right knee starts rolling open. Your left shoulder blade slides a little up the ribs. Your left ribs open and lean left. Inhaling. As you exhale, try to sink your low belly back away from the right hip. And switch. Knees go left, ribs go right. They should be going the opposite direction. Knees go one way, ribs go the other. Good. And switch. So think of that. It'll walk like the Egyptian thing. Knees go one way, ribs go the other. Good. Come back to the middle. Okay, let's go ahead and try to bring your elbows lower down the shins. See if you can bring your elbows to the front of the shins. Okay, get in front of it if you can. You have to pull the feet back, do that. And then very softly, I don't care if your prayer has to open, if your knees are really wide, groin is really open, that's fine. Very softly pull back on the shins, 
with your elbows, engaging the serratus, the muscles underneath. And see if you can think of keeping ribs apart and lengthen your chest forward and middle abs draw in a little bit. Think top of the head forward to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. Good. So you're trying to literally bring your ribs past the thighs. Okay, one more breath here. Now let's take the hands behind the head. Slide your hands up the head a little bit toward the crown of the head, toward the top of the head. And elbows come a little bit in and down, hanging toward the floor. Or if your spine is not as flexible and you're up here, think of your shoulder blades sliding around your ribs, elbows reaching forward, and then top of the head forward and down, chin in. Lift your middle abs out of the pelvic floor, out of the top of the pelvic bowl, and then think of lengthening the ribs forward, not crunching over the ribs down. So you want your break point, your bend point, to be the middle abs. Keep your chin sort of tucked up into your own throat and the top of the head forward and down. See how far forward you can go before rounding down. So your elbows are reaching forward and down. Try to feel that stretch in the neck and shoulders by reaching through top of the head, shoulder blades dropping away from the nape of the neck, away from the ears. Lift the middle abs. Now roll to the inside of the feet, softly squeezing legs in. Lift the low belly. Lengthen a little more. Then roll to outer feet. See if knees can open away a little further. Breathe. Inhaling. As you exhale, roll to the inner foot. Lift the pinky side of the foot. Lift your belly into the ball and then lengthen the spine forward. And then roll to the outer foot. Open the knees. Slowly roll up, little pressure in feet, little lifting, low belly. Go one vertebrae at a time, connect with the ball. All of the spine is equally connected with the ball. Don't put the head back and kink the neck. Your cervical spine stays long too. Your hands support the head, your serratus, pull the shoulder blades a little down the body and a little forward, your neck is reaching back. Okay, from there, put soft pressure in your feet. Stay leaning into your ball to roll back over it. You go all the way till the legs can straighten. It shouldn't feel like a lot of balancing act. That could be because your ball is too blown up, but it could also be because you're stiffening and hardening up the body. And you're like a little metal pole trying to balance on a ball. It won't. Think of being a washcloth. Let washcloth draping over the ball. Let your elbows release back. Let your shoulder blades release. Elbows are a little in, in your peripheral vision, and then reaching back. Then start bending the knees. Feel your low belly helps keep your pubic bone, tailbone, aimed at the floor, really attached to the ball. Come all the way back down until hips touch the floor. Then first the serratus, pull the head forward. Keep the ribs open, tuck the chin, and feel length in your neck. Then feel your serratus slide past ribs. Middle abs suck back out of the pelvic floor, pelvic bowl. And then instead of rounding from the upper body, like you're breaking at the top of the ribs, think of bringing the entire rib cage forward off the ball. Middle abs lifting and break at the middle between rib cage and pelvis. So open ribs come past the pelvic bowl. Breathe. And if you to touch forward, you can. If it helps you come further forward, get gravity on your side. There we go. Inhaling. As you exhale, try to squeeze the knees in against your own body. Maybe it's your elbows. Maybe it's your shoulders. Once the knees softly squeeze in, lift your middle abs, your transverse abs, away from the front body, away from the hips. Then lengthen further forward and down. Be patient until you feel back muscles release, head and neck release. Inhale again. Exhale, knees softly squeeze in. Lift your middle abs. Let your middle back release. If you roll far enough forward, you lose the ball. One more breath like that. This time, roll to the outside of the feet. Try to let the front of the hips open. So roll to outer foot. Front of the hips open. Knees may open. See if you can lift your low belly and come further forward. Stay there. Try to lean your body a little bit to the left against the left groin. And then see if you can reach your right elbow, right shoulder blade further forward. Open the right knee away from that. Come back to center with the body. Lean into your right groin with the upper body, with the ribs. Reach the left elbow, left shoulder blade forward. Let it spread the serratus and ribs on that left side. And come back to the middle. Slowly roll up, middle abs draw. 
Then the next set of abdominal muscles all the way up, flattening the lumbar spine. I guess it's not flat, but bringing it into the ball. Okay, and the next stays long. Don't kick, keep the head. You get head to the ball. Your head may not touch the ball. Soft pressure in the feet. Make sure your hips rest against the ball. No tucking. Don't squeeze glutes. Let your hips straight. And roll back like that. Let the arms go. Reach back. Drape the arms over the ball. How are we doing? Nobody feels any pressure in low back, do you? <laughs> Good. Pressure in low back at any time. Not okay. Inhale here. Exhale. See if you can bring your arms straight up to the ceiling. Let them be floaty and soft. Feel your serratus. Spread shoulder blades up and then back down. Let your arms drop all the way back, getting longer. Good. Start bending the knees, slowly rolling forward, hips straight to the floor, head drapes to the ball. Do not bring the head up this time. Do it again. Go ahead and press into the feet, roll back all the way back. If your hands touch the floor, slide them as far away as you can. If you have long hair, get it out from under your ball. Inhale. <laughs> As you exhale, you're going to roll just far enough forward for your feet to go flat. So your toes are down, the ball of the foot down. Okay? Then bring your hands back to the head. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze the base of the hand in on the base of the skull. Bring your elbows into your peripheral vision. Slide your shoulder blades down the body away from the ears and feel them stab into the ball a little bit. Then hands pull the head up from the serratus, the muscles under the armpits. And feel that neck stretch. Don't close your ribs yet. Okay? Go a little further back on your ball. Teresa, Terry, C. Okay, everybody's good. So make sure your hips are on the ball right now. Okay, now I want you to start to feel middle abs. Not the uppermost abs, the transverse abs. Between your ribcage and pelvis, feel your serratus on the side of the ribs and middle abs both engage. Then see if you can lift your ribs up and forward, pulling the belly back, rounding up. Hold. Feel shoulder blades pulling down the body, middle abs pulling back, feet softly pressing. Think of rolling up your ball a little bit. Suck the belly in more so you can pick the ribs up higher. And then start rolling back slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Let the hips drape, let the head drape, let the elbows drape, and go ahead and let the legs straighten and release. How are we doing? Good. Inhale here. Exhale, try to let all of your spine release. Notice if there's any tension. Bend the knees again. Feet go flat. Serratus engage to pull shoulders down, bringing the head up with ribs still open. Don't crush the ribs. Don't tuck hips toward you. Low belly spreads a little. Feel like you're spinning heels in, toes out. So turning the foot. They're stuck to the mat. They don't actually turn, but just do that. Keeping knees open. I'm going to lift the rib cage like it's flat. Make your breaking point. The middle abs. Pick it up from middle abs and serratus. Little pressure in feet. Suck the belly up to the ball. Inhaling. Exhale. Slowly lay it out all the way back. Drape the head. Let your legs straighten. One big breath here. Let's go ahead and take the arms back. Please out the outstretch. And exhaling. Sink your low belly. One more breath. Let your ribs open. Exhale. Good. Bring hands back to your head. Bend the knees, slowly coming down. Until the hips touch down. Good. And then all at once, first the head comes, excuse me. Then pull the middle abs back. A little pressure in your feet. Lean your rib cage forward. Pass the pelvic bowl. Get that length. Then you can round. Once you pass the legs, pass the pelvic bowl. Inhale here. As you exhale, softly squeeze knees in on the elbows or the shoulders or the ribs, wherever you're at. Lift your middle abs away from your feet. And feel your back release and let that go. Let your head drop further, chin in to your own throat, top of the head forward, spine long. Breathe. Feel the middle abs engage softly. Try to soften front of hips, open knees a little more. Slowly roll it up, low belly engaging, middle abs drawing, lay back over the ball. Keep the neck long, don't kink it. And when you push in the feet, head can lay back if it wasn't already. Keep your neck long. Roll all the way back. Inhaling. 
As you exhale, shoulder blades come down, stab into the ball. See if you can come up. Oh, sorry, my arm's under the ball. See if you can come up without having to put feet flat. Just heels kind of dig. Feel your middle abs drop up toward your face, up the ball. See if you can come a little higher. Shoulder blades are down the body, but also wrapping forward in the middle abs. And then lay back over the ball. Nothing in low back here. Feel your elbows reach up and back out of the ribcage. Inhale and let your ribs open. Exhale, shoulder blades come down the body toward the ball, which is kind of up to the ceiling in this spatial orientation. Feel shoulder blades stab at the ball, pull the head up with the hands. Middle abs draw down, pick your ribs up. Good. And then release all the way back. Very nice. Go ahead and bend the knees. Rolling the ball forward until hips touch the ground. Try to get your hips to touch really close to the ball. Then slurry is help bring the head up. Middle abs suck back. Ribs come long and forward all the way through the legs. Keep your ball stuck to the lumbar spine. And then slowly roll it up just to flat. Good. You come off your ball. It's okay. All right. How are we doing? Good. Just feel that back stretch, find spinal flexibility. Sorry. Great. Good. Bring the feet back in pretty close. If you feel like your hips are really tight and holding, and take your feet away a little. And grab a strap. Then you get shoulders warmed up. Take your strap, break it over the knees, and then depending on your shoulder stretch, you're going to adjust where you grip your strap. Okay? So starting with mat width is a pretty good gauge for most people. Maybe go a little wider if you know your shoulders are pretty tight. Thumb is on the strap, back of your palm facing each other, and then reach out in front of you. Keep your ribs into the ball, the back of the rib cage. Slide the serratus forward and think of hollowing your collarbone rolling in and up with the shoulders. So you should actually feel your pecs engage and your collarbone lift, the chest muscles engage. Okay? Once you have that, so you can lift shoulder blades from the neck or you can do it from the chest with neck back, which is a different feeling. Okay? So really reach. Lift your middle abs up like they're coming inside open ribs. Give it like a, a ray of light or some water flowing through the middle without touching any sides. Then see if you can bring the arms up with the chest still engaged. Keep the middle abs lifted and then top the head forward. Now taking your arms back, pull out on your strap a touch. Go really slowly as you roll through the joint. If anything wants to get caught or stuck or not move through the range of motion, you need to widen your grip. Okay. Bring your arms all the way down. Once you're all the way through your joint, all the way back there, then roll your shoulder blades a little forward. Roll them back. Inhale, open your ribs. Lift your middle abs. Top of the head is up to the ceiling. Bring your arms back up slowly. Good. How are we doing? Let's do it again. Reaching forward, middle abs lifting. Stay tall in the thoracic spine. Inhaling, up and back. Pull out a little bit on your strap. Don't let hands or wrists do anything funny. And then bring it back. Good. Get through the joint. Good. Do it again. Inhale up and back. Exhale down. Inhale up and forward. Exhale down. Last two. Inhale up and back. Exhale down. Keep the middle abs to stabilize. Top of head reaching for forward. Before ceiling. Last one. on the shoulder stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay? Choke in a touch if that was not too much of a stretch already. Same thing. Chest forward. Reach up and back. Inhale. Pull out a little bit to the same length you had it to roll through the joint. So a little bit of engagement through the stretch. Bring it back up. Pulling out a bit. Make that come from shoulders. Two more. Inhale up and back. Exhale forward. Last one. Biceps there. Should be some biceps because the bicep attaches into the shoulder blade, so that's going to get a stretch if you reach through it and release. But try not to make it a bending and pulling. I didn't see your last rep, but I think you had it. I'm watching your chest engage really well. All right, from there, keep the length you have. Maybe go back to your last length. Press into the feet. 
Roll back over your ball until your head is supported, and then drop the arms back. Your whole spine should be touching the ball, hips and head. If one of the two has to not be touching, I'd rather hips hang down in front of the ball so your neck is supported. Okay, bring the arms up and forward. Pull the, ball, the strap apart a little bit, palms facing out. Feel your serratus engage, shoulder blades away from ears. Bring the hands forward as you pick the head up. Good, pushing your feet to roll up your ball a little. Sock the belly back, pull the hands apart with shoulders down. Think of the belly trying to suck back while the shoulder blades reach forward. Really round, inhale. Exhale, suck the middle abs back. See if you can bring your arms up and back without laying back over the ball. If you can lay back, go ahead and feel this in the neck, lay back. And bring it back up. So you gotta be high enough so your thoracic spine is facing upright. If you're back here, this is gonna go in your neck. Get up there. Inhale, up and back. Opening shoulders. Exhaling forward. Good. Inhale, arms straight up. Reach your serratus up off the back. And then pull them down to your ball. Reach the serratus up. Good. Pull them down to the ball. Lay the head back. Good. Roll all the way your fullest length. Stretching out. Let the hand rest. Inhale. Exhaling, bend the knees, and as you come forward, go really slow. Feel your low belly spread horizontally across. Try to keep your pubic bone tail from reaching for the ground. And come all the way down to the mat. Once you're down, bring your strap behind the head and hands to where you can see them. If you had a really wide grip, bring your hands in so that your upper arm makes a 90 degree angle. Now when you do this, the tendency is going to be for tighter shoulders for elbows to go out and hands to drop in. Don't let that happen. Keep your forearms parallel lines. Pick up your middle abs. Serratus reach forward and down. Bring the chin in, top of the head forward. Come forward off the ball the way we were before. Middle abs drawing as your sort of bright point where the spine turns the corner. Top of the head forward, chin in. Serratus pulling into the middle abs. Stretching the spine. Top of the head forward. If you're real flexible in the spine, elbows will start to pull back a little. Back and neck going forward. Breathe. Let the spine stretch. Slowly rolling back up. Head into strap. Neck back. This should be a neck stretch, not head back. So you're crunching the neck. Those serratus pull down. Push back over your ball. It's nice here because we have the mirrors on the ceiling. You can see those forearms. Make them parallel. Keep your fingers long. Don't overstress your hands. Keep your chin and neck long. Pull just your head up. Elbows in. Head comes up. Serratus pulling forward. Think of your chin dropping back, neck back, like it's trying to flatten into a wall behind you. And then lay all the way back. You should be starting to feel a little bit in your arms in, in addition to serratus. Do it again. Pull from serratus. Shoulder blades into ball. Top of the head gets pulled forward from hands, from strap, chin in, neck back, top of the head to the ceiling. Low belly draws, let your hips release if you were tucking. Good, and come down slowly like that. Top of the head forward, round straight forward. And go ahead and get rid of your strap. Let your head just hang there. You can interlace fingers behind it if it helps you. Two breaths there. And then you're going to slowly roll it up. Little pressure in feet, little lift from pelvic floor, low belly, then middle abs, painting the spine into the ball, wrapping over the ball. Good. How are we doing? Okay, so? Mm -hmm. Nothing's hurting. All right. Grab one or both of your purple balls, depending on how much weight you want to add to this. Okay. All right, with purple balls in hand, you're either going to hold one in the base of both hands, fingers would be open, elbows close together, then closed, and feel the bottom two thumb knuckles softly push up into the ball. We're going to do both hands, same configuration, just with both balls. Okay? From here, I want you to push into your ball, lay back until the head can rest, and press your ball straight up to the ceiling, and then lengthen your neck on your ball a little more. Make sure all of the, the cervical spine is touching the ball, okay? Hips maybe kind of drop down over the front of the ball. Put a baby bend in your elbows, elbows hug in. That's to establish an outer spiral in your arms. So it's almost like you're 
palms are going to face back, back of the hand facing the ceiling. And then drop your arms back like that. Let the ribs open more. Inhale. As you exhale, pull middle abs and draw the arms up from your serratus, from underneath the armpits. Do it again. Inhale on the way back. Let your ribs open. Exhale forward. Inhale, dropping back, neck long. Exhale, low belly and serratus. Inhale, dropping back. Exhale, low belly and serratus. Let's add a little more coordination to this. Drop it back. Roll further back on your ball. If you can touch the floor, take the purple balls as far on the floor as you can. If not, just reach. Okay? And then think of pulling your balls up from middle abs and serratus while you're back there. Hold when they're straight up to the ceiling. Okay? Now you're going to start bending the knees. Feel your low belly. Anchor the back of the hips to the ball. And as you slowly roll forward, slowly drop the purple balls back. Inhale. So hips drop, hands drop. And then exhale and bring it up. Hands up. Roll up on the ball. Roll back. Okay. Inhaling. They drop apart. Hips drop, hands drop. Exhaling. Roll it up. Bring hands up. Three more like that. Inhale. Get long. Exhaling. Bring it up. Let the head hang off the back of the ball if you can roll back far enough. Inhale. Hips hang to the ground. Hands hang. Exhale. Bring it up. Lean out into your left hand. I don't care if you take that hand out further. 
Get your shoulder in front of it though, elbow wide. And then bring your ribs over to the left. Then lift out your left foot, drop the knee across. Heel toe the right foot open. Keep your right knee a touch in to feel your low belly sink, but then let your left hip reach forward. So you can push back into the ball a little bit and reach the knee away, hip away. So it goes across your center line. Inhale. Exhale, roll it back up. Good. Just one more inside. Take it over to the right. Bend the right elbow. Push with your left hand. Heel toe your left foot wide. Do that first. Some of you are missing that part. And then drop the right knee all the way across the body. Good. If you've got an easy stretch there or you want to deepen it, you can cross left ankle over right knee. Good. Bring it back up. You guys feeling that stretch? Mm -hmm. Yep. Take it across to the other side. Really lean into that hand. Try to roll your shoulder forward, elbow wide, away from your ball. Ribs over there, heel toe right foot open. Lift out your left foot, reach the hip across. If you want to add, you can cross right ankle over the knee. Hook the foot around the knee. Good stretch, guys. Think about very softly pulling your low belly back out of the front of the hip. Shoulders roll forward, top that up, and bring it down. Very good. How are we doing? Okay. Sit back against your ball. Soles of the feet together. You may come off the ball for this. Don't worry about it. Going to do a body kanasana. If the ball helps push you forward, let it. So in other words, if your hips are tighter and your hips keep you back here, so the ball is actually helping keep you forward, then by all means keep the ball. If you're really loose and you can come forward and you're going to not use the ball, then that's fine too. Okay. But if it's pushing your pelvic bolt into the stretch, let that happen. Right. Okay. Let's try to come forward a little bit. Bring elbows in front of the shins if you can, if your shins are up in the air. And you're going to softly pull back on your shins from the serratus. Think chin into your own throat, top of the head forward, and lift the middle abs softly. Think of apple core, ray of light, water flowing through the core, whatever image helps you. Think of something coming up through your center, out of the pelvic bowl, inside open ribs, through the back of the neck. Ribs should not be closed here. It's a long line. Breathe. If you're very easy in this, you can bring arms forward and softly pull from three. One more breath wherever you're at. And roll it back up. Good. Bring the knees in. All right, let's go ahead and turn around. And move into a little more movement. So bring your ball. You guys maybe need to stand on that side, face in, so you're still facing me. That helps. And think of bringing your ball to the back of the mat now, and possibly even off your mat, because we're going to roll. I'll just show you. So we're going to come onto the ball, and we're going to roll forward. So you want most of your mat in front of you. Okay, we're not going to do that all at once. All right, we've got the pads here, so maybe it'll help you to take your pads back to your starting place and just kneel on the floor to get the ball positioned right. It's up to you how you want to do that, or you can just squat and sit on your heels and do it. However you want to do it, what you're going to try to do is bring your rib cage, put the ball against logo, and then bring your rib cage as far up and over the ball as you can. Like you're actually trying to make space between the pelvic bowl and the ribs by getting the ribs further on top of the ball. Okay. Once you're over your ball, let the head drape, let the hips drape. Try to open legs out around the sides of the ball a little bit so you've got the groin into the ball. And then let your head drop. Okay. Elbows should be touching the floor right now. So if they're not, come forward until they can. If you have a bigger ball or you're shorter, it may not happen. These are our 65 centimeter diameter and they're not fully inflated. Okay, let your head drop forward, let your tail drop, and then inhale, try to feel the ribcage expand. Pull that air in, exhale, try to feel your middle abs lift up inside of somewhat open ribs, head draping more, hips draping more. Okay, then go ahead and start rolling backward on your ball, keeping elbows on the floor. Feel the ball pull your rib cage out of the shoulder girdle a little bit. And then roll back forward again until the top of the head can touch the floor. Do it again. Roll back. Try to use the ball to pull ribs out of the shoulder blade. 
and roll forward to top of the head. Once the top of the head touches the floor, keep toes tucked like your feet are going to go into plank. Push into the feet a little bit to roll, my hair is in the way, to roll toward the back of the head into a neck stretch. At the same time, lift your shoulders up away from the floor, away from the ears. If that's an easy neck stretch and you want more, first of all, keep pressuring your toes, but release your hips. You don't need to flex hips to press. Just toes is enough. You're on a round ball. It'll roll forward for you. You don't need that much pressure. Keep hips released. Keep a little pressure in toes from the feet. Keep shoulders lifted up and back. Chin in. Keep trying to roll toward the back of the head. If that's easy, you can walk the hands forward. Like little spiders, you can inchworm the heels to fingers or whatever you want to think of. And bring the hands so that the, the upper arm passes head. Breathe. Again, check in with hips, let them go. Two more Keep the pressure from toes, not squeezing glutes and tucking hips. Okay, and then slowly roll back if your hands are forward, let them come unwillingly back to elbows, and then slide back. Good. Can you guys find the next steps there? Yeah. Okay. Now bring your legs together. Actually pick them up. Put the groin muscles toward each other. Yep. Work yourself over the ball. And then staying on your elbows, walk forward. Go feel the ball. Pick your legs up. Keep your legs in your spiral. That means groin muscles rolling in and up to the ceiling. Just soft. Try to spread the toes out. Keep the inner foot aligned and touching. I want you to walk forward, stay draped over the ball. The more you stiffen up against the ball, the harder it is to bounce. And the more it is a bounce. It shouldn't be a bounce. Okay? When you come forward, I want you to come all the way until your pubic bone is the only thing touching the ball. Most of your torso is free. Okay, good. Now think of your hands as pulling in, those two thumb knuckles pressing into the mat, to engage your chest a little bit to help hollow the collarbone. And elbows pull out to engage serratus. Pick your ribs up, doming the upper back. Top of the head forward, chin in, hold, inhaling. Exhale, long and even. And go ahead and drop back down slowly. Let your chest drop into shoulder girdle. Keep the neck long, let your ribs dip. Do it again, pick it back up. Ribs come up into the shoulder girdle, dome the upper back with the belly. Good, and then drop it back down. Let's add your breath, inhale on the way up. Exhaling down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep the neck long, don't bring your head up when your ribs go down. Inhale on the way up, neck is released, head on head. Exhale down. Last one, come to neutral. Good, now pick up your middle abs, like you're pushing legs softly down into the ball. See if you can pipe the hips up, butt up a little, pull the ball toward you. It's not an easy move, but it's a lot of core, and then drop it back. Do that again. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Feel the serratus. Feel your middle abs. Pick the hips up. Butt up. Pull the ball to you. And then roll it back. Good. Let's try that in a little easier way. Look up here if you've never done this. You're going to put the top of the head on the floor. Shoulders lift away from the ears. Same movement of rolling the ball to you. You don't have to go this high. But don't think, suck my ribs into the throat. Think, Ribs stay pretty open, middle abs pick your hips up to the ceiling, shoulders lifting. You want the legs to get light on the ball. Okay. Do about two or three of those. Serratus and middle abs connect to pick up hips with fairly open ribs. Keep your inner spiral on the legs. And then roll back down. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and stay on your elbows. Roll back until arms are straight or try to bring your ribs to the ball. Top of the head to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, long and even. One more. Okay, bring the head up, keeping neck long, pull elbows back, and roll forward, staying deep in shoulder girdle. And then pick the ribs up, pick the hips up all at once. Doesn't matter how high you go. And then roll back. Good, we're going to try a little headstand prep. Your head comes to the ground. Your hands come back. Look up here, we're going to tripod headstand to where you can see them, elbows at a 90 degree angle. Your shoulders lift up and back, and then it should be easier 
to roll the ball to you, hips to the ceiling, elbows hug in, elbows are in, shoulders left up, inner spiral legs, slowly roll back down, think butt up, hips up, good, do it again, elbows are in, legs get light, eventually they can lift, and then roll it back down, good, keep the hands on the mat, pick the head up, roll all the way back with your hands. Arms are straight, head is dropped, toes are tucked in plank. Let your head all the way drop through the arms. Inhaling. Exhale, long and even. Bring the back of the neck up to even with the spine. Pull back on the mat with serratus so you can come forward onto hands. Feel the serratus pull back, middle abs are lifted. So don't dump now, keep it engaged. Do it again, try to slide back, keep those middle abs engaged, keep your serratus. Drop the head, pick the back of the neck up, pull back with serratus, try to keep arms straight. Good. Once you're up there, pick your ribs up, really dome the upper back, spread shoulder blades, pick up the low belly. Inhaling. Exhale, start going back like that. Keep your abs lifted, go back slowly, control it from serratus. Good. And then pull back and come back forward again. Are we feeling core? Nothing in low backs. Keep the low belly lifted or you will feel your low back. Keep the serratus engaged. Roll back, last one. And then roll all the way forward. Good, now tuck your toes. I want your toes to be able to touch the floor like you're in a push-up, but with the ball under you. So go back as far as you have to get your toes to the floor. Okay, and we're gonna do hands like this. See if you can turn, turn both of your hands backwards, keeping them as wide as the mat. You good? Put a baby bend in both elbows, so unlock your elbows. Shoulders draw back and wide. Think of your elbows pulling apart toward the thumb side of the hand. Okay. Lift your belly up off the ball just a touch, not by squeezing glutes, that's a different thing. That'll actually put your abs out. By sucking the middle abs up and feel your serratus draw back. Okay. Inhaling. Exhale, let your ribs drop into the shoulder girdle. Inhale, pick them up. Pushing with hands. Exhale, let it drop. And help pick it up. And exhale, let it drop. Good. You can roll back a touch further, walk the toes back, and then roll back, bending the elbow. Come to fingers. Doesn't matter which hand, just do one at a time. Toes have to be on the ground. And then roll back through that hand. Other side, roll back through the fingers. Elbow bends low like it's trying to come to the ground in your ball. Roll forward. One more on the right. Roll all the way back. Come to knuckles. One more on the left. Roll all the way back. Come to knuckles. Good. Keep your wrists straight and strong. Thumbs are forward. Fingers are not getting squished. They're flat. Okay. From here, see if you can pull back. Pick your ribs up. Straight arms. Low belly lifts. Inner spiral legs. Go one line of energy from that big toe right up through the back of the neck. Your middle abs lifted, no squeezing glutes. Drop your chest back down, slide it back to plank. Okay, flatten your hands on the mat. Come back to elbows. Let your body drape over your ball. Don't resist the ball. Walk forward. The more you stay draped, the easier the walk gets. Good. Again, you're going to get right to the pubic bone. And then I want you to pick your ribs up again. Okay. See if you can roll a teeny bit left, just so your right leg is right in the center of the top of the ball. Bring your left knee all the way up toward the left elbow. Careful, don't stiffen against your ball. That's when it really wants to roll around. How are we doing? Did everybody get there? Good. Walk your elbows and touch further forward. Keeping the top of the leg in the ball. Look at me for a minute. Don't let your hip roll open so that your hip is facing out. Roll it in and down. Like you're putting the front of the right hip down to the ground. Good. From there, roll back on your ball. Chest dropping inside the left groin like a slip. And then roll forward all the way to the knee. I'm pretty close. Do it again. Roll back on the ball. And then roll forward. Keep top of the leg into the ball. Spread the right toes. Last one. Roll back. Chest near the floor. See if you can bring your right elbow right under the shoulder. And then open your chest. Bring your left arm back. Twisting. Good. See if you can bend the back leg slowly and bring your foot to your own hand. See if you can bring that knee into you or that foot, excuse me, into you. Good. 
Now keeping it open, push with the elbow to roll a little ways back. Be careful. And then roll forward, open the chest more into the twist. Roll back a little ways. Roll forward, open the chest. One more time, pull that foot in. And let it go. Good job. How are we doing? Good. Come to hands. Think of your lunges. Keep this hip rolled down into the ball. Front of the hip trying to reach for the ground. Push into your hands to pick up the leg and see if you can step it next to your hands. A little harder. Okay. What happened? What's on your chin? If it's not going to happen, no worries. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. It's a lunge. You're going to do the same thing here. If it didn't happen, do the same thing we were just doing. Roll back toward a split. See how far you can go toward your split? And then roll forward, chest high. Do it again. Rolling up. Try to open up into your split. Roll back forward. Good. Either on hands or you can come back to elbows. Whatever is easier for you to balance. Roll that right leg to the middle of the ball. Don't stiffen up. Keep your hips low. And step your foot back. Good, guys. This isn't super easy, I know. All right. Let's bring your right knee all the way out toward the right hand. We'll start with elbows on the floor. Now good transition though. You did it on your hands. Good. You did it on your elbows. That's fine too. And then roll forward. Ball should come about to knee. Then roll the ball back. Try to bring your ribs inside that right groin. Really roll back. You should feel a stretch in the front of the left hip. The psoas. Good. And then roll the ball forward. Good. Come a little forward on your bottom, just a touch. Up, walk your elbows forward. Yep. And then try to pick that knee. There you go. Okay, so your hip should be able to drop in front of the ball. Roll back. Try to keep the hip dropped in front of the ball. And then roll forward. Last one. Roll back. Roll forward. Hold. Bring your right arm around. Try to open up the chest. Roll the shoulder back. And then bend the back knee. See if your hand can get to the foot. Okay, if you can get there, try to pull it in. Good. Very nice. Breathe. Okay. Think of roll. Let it go first a little bit. Keep it the arm long. Like you have opposition between hand and foot. Roll back like that. And then roll forward. Opening the chest into the twist form. Roll back. Your chest can face the floor. Roll forward. Open the chest into the twist. Good. And then go ahead and let that leg go. Okay. If you want to come to the lunge, come to hands. If you're, if you're happy where you are, stay there. We're just going to roll back and forth a couple more times. You want to come to leg up, pick up your ribs, keep the back leg inner spiral, and spread the toes. Then pick up the belly, step the foot next to your hand, turn heel and toe down. Okay. And maybe that lunge, just being there and breathing is enough. Keep dropping hips below the level of the knee, below the level of the ball. Foot's got to get flat. If you want to go further, you can try that rolling back towards your split, and then rolling forward again. Rolling back. And rolling forward. Okay. If you want to just be here, that's fine. You can also work on rolling the hips up, like you're coming toward a down dog. And rolling back. Good. Rolling all the way to your split. So just getting a little bit comfortable with the ball. Coming hips up to the down dog. Good. All right. Now, either come back to elbows and knee, and you're just going to meet us in plank on the ball. Or if you want to try the balance again, Keep the leg right in the middle of the ball. Pick your ribs up a little. Keep the top of the leg facing down. And bring the right leg back. Okay. Whether you're on elbows or hands, you're going to think, pick the ribs up down the back. Set the middle abs up and pull the ball to you, butt up. And then roll it back. Lot of core and hands down the prep. Good. Do it again. Shoulder blades pull back. Belly pulls up. Bring the ball to you. And then roll it back. Good. Roll all the way back with arms straight. Let the belly hang over the ball. Let the head hang. And then slowly walk your elbows back. And roll back to the beginning. Knees open. Head hanging. Shoulder blades hanging. Breathe.
toys we have. So let's toss them back here, because otherwise they're going to make their rounds around the way. Good job, guys. The forward facing stuff's pretty hard on the ball, huh? Yeah? Yeah, we're, yeah you got to do your workout. Yeah. yeah. All right, but you guys did well. Okay, let's come to the top of your mat, grab your blocks. Take your feet right under the hips and your blocks a little bit in front of your shoulders. And then feet together, maybe an inch apart, and heels further apart than toes. So you're just a touch pigeon toe. And then sitting bones are back, so let your pelvic bowl drop. In order to do that, you have to let your ribs drop. If your hips are really tight and your glutes are really tight, your hamstrings, and you want to keep this shape, you need to be higher with your blocks. Bigger blocks, maybe a coffee table, whatever. Okay? Let the ribs drop, let the belly drop, hips drop, top of the head forward. And then see if you can take your hips back further behind the heels. How far back can you sit your hips? It starts to feel like your blocks want to tip. That's okay. Put downward pressure in them from chest coming down, from serratus pulling down the body, shoulder blades down the body. Top of the head forward, chin up into your own throat. Breathe. As you exhale, go ahead and bend your left knee to your, bring your thigh to your ribs, hug the right hip further back. And switch. Bend the right knee, hug your left hip further back. And switch. Right hip further back. And switch. Go ahead and just keep rolling back and forth through that. Keeping neck long. Let your hips move independently of each other. Let your ribs move through the shoulder girdle. Keep a little bit of middle belly engaged. Feel your feet. Good. Bend both knees. Bring your arms straight back. Bend your knees further. Roll your shoulders back. Try to keep ribs in connection with the eyes. Breathe. Spread and lift your toes. Try to bring your big toe back down. Lift your low belly up. Good. Inhaling. Exhale. Hips up. Try to keep ribs connected with the eyes for as long as you can. Tip your weight forward to the front of the feet. Breathe. Let your shoulders drop a little. Shoulder heads roll forward. Hands reach further back. Okay, bend the knees again. Chest in line with the thighs. Roll your shoulders up and back. Inhale. See if we can interlace fingers this time. Suck palms together. Roll shoulders back, but pick the middle abs up. Good. Now keep your ribs close to thighs. As you straighten legs, it feels like your chest, your ribs are pushing the thighs back. Drop your head. See if you can drop your arms further over the head. If you need to open the hands a little bit, that's fine. If you can keep them squeezed, great. Take so a bigger shoulder stretch. Breathe. Bend the knees again first, keeping the hands forward. Then pull the hands back, back of the neck long. Then bring the body all the way up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend knees a little, low belly lifts, glutes are apart, hands come into prayer. Hands press into each other soft, elbows fo forward, shoulders forward to hollow collarbone as your belly lifts back and up. Bend the knees deeper. Think of pulling them out apart with the feet, take sitting bones back, and then lift low belly, take tail under, without squeezing the glutes. Sitting bones back. Good, keep it that way. Bring them. Hips back, top of the head to the floor. And hands back to your block. Step your right foot forward, left foot back. Right foot outside the blocks, turn it out 45 degrees. Good, wiggle your left foot back. Make one straight line from the back inner heel, through the back, through the spine, through the back of the neck and head. Shoulders are away from the ears, serratus engaged. Open the right knee, put soft pressure into that foot to keep a little lift there. And then suck the belly up out of the front of the hips. Good. Start bending the front knee. Drop your hips deeper. Keep the arms fairly straight. If you have a bigger stretch, go ahead and bend elbows, but keep them hugged in. Sit down into that hip stretch. Good. Push your hands and foot at the same time. Roll your left hip open. And then think inner spiral left leg, outer spiral right. Try to bring your left frontal hip to your right groin. Drop chest into shoulder girl. Keep the top of the head long. Bend the front knee about halfway, hold. Bend your elbow 
elbows a little, hold, pull elbows in. Keep shoulders back, belly lifted, back inner heel strong, right inner heel pushing the open. And then bend the knee wider, come down slowly. Good, bring it back up. Okay, keep pressure in the inner right foot, roll to your inner foot. And then push into your right foot, roll your left hip back and open. Then roll the left hip forward, bend the front knee, bend the elbows in, sit down into that sort of chatter on the lizard. Pick it back up. Good, last one, roll your left hip open, roll it forward. Bend the front knee, get long as you come down, put the back knee down. Move your blocks out of the way or use them. Maybe you're going to go on first level to bring elbows down, maybe second level, maybe you're up higher, maybe you're no blocks. Wherever you are, respect your body. If your back is severely domed, you're too low. You need to stack it up higher. Okay. From here, try to push into that back foot, back leg off the ground. Open the front knee more. Roll to the last three metatarsals, pinky, ring, and third, or whatever that is. And then try to tip your hips that way more into the stretch. Push into the right foot a little. Pick your left hip up. Move further right. Drop it back down. Breathe. Go ahead put the back knee back down again. All right, bring your right arm in front of the right leg, palm to the ground. Bring your left hand, palm to the ground. Elbows are trying to make 90 degree angles, so you have to take your block outside the foot if you need it. Good. Tucking back toes. Well, before you lift the back leg, pull the right shoulder back, right elbow back, plugging the right hip back, left hip forward, lengthening ribs and top of the head forward. Then reach your back leg if you want to add some body weight to the stretch. If you feel pretty easy and deep here, you can kneel on your upper arm. Pick the foot up. Wherever you're at, hold and take two breaths. Keep middle abs lifting, so is pulling back, lengthening between your cage and pelvis. Put the foot down if it was up. Bring your hands back, put the back knee down. Sit your hips back. Spread the front toes out. Okay, and then this is different if you've never done it. Slide your foot forward and as far right as you need to take it to put the front of the left hip into the mat. So I don't care if your legs out here. Okay, I want you to get the front of the left hip down. If you need a bolster for your hip, put the bolster sideways under your hip. I guess you could use a block, but no, it's not very comfortable. A pillow is better. A pillow is much better. Yeah, you could use your pranayama pillow, right? You could use your lower pillow. Put your hip on that. Okay? But for the most part, most people can get the hip down if you bring the leg back far. I'm mean, out here if you bring your leg all the way back to here. Right? So give yourself that first. Right? See how far back you need to bring that leg. Okay? Or you can bend the knee. That's another way. You can bend the knee. That's fine too. Alright. So once you get that left frontal hip into the mat, I want you to bring your elbows over to the left. Touch so you're in line. Okay? You should feel the front of the left hip, the front of the pelvic bolt in the mat the whole time. You're going to just put your hands in prayer, press those two thumb knuckles at the base of the hand into each other to feel the chest a little. Pick your ribs up just to touch. Not enough to pick up the hips, but just enough to pick ribs. Then pull back on elbows. Get that left hip to stick to the mat like you're pulling your ribs out of the hip. Feel that length in your psoas, like you're actually pulling your ribs away from your pelvic bowl. Yes? Mm -hmm. okay. And then bring the ribs up just a touch. When you pick them up too much, the hips are going to come too. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows dig into the mat and pull back. I don't care if shoulders go forward. Feel the left frontal hip stuck to the mat. Ribs come out of that hip. Inner spiral the right leg. Inner spiral the left. If the inner spiral kills the stress, that means you're using your hip flexor. Stop inner spiraling. Okay, let's bring your left elbow as far forward as you can on your mat. Left hand in close, your right hand can keep it there. And then see if you can lay your head on your upper arm. It's a shoulder stretch. And your right elbow can push the mat a little right, bring ribs a little further left. Breathe. One more breath. See if you can reach your right arm straight back. Open up the shoulder. Just use that shoulder blade, upper back a little. 
And then keeping your left frontal hip in the mat, bend the back knee, see if your hand can catch the foot. Good. And then pull the foot into the, the glute, whichever one you feel you can get to. The left glute will be a bigger stretch. If that's not a big enough stretch, you can come up to your left elbow and do it. If that's still not a big enough stretch, you can reach back with your left hand and step. And you can come up. Wherever you're at, breathe. All right. And then let it go when you're ready. Good. Come back up to elbows. Then come back to hands. Bend your back knee to pull back. Or you can tuck the back toes to pull back. And either way, let's knee and down dog. How are we doing? Good. Spread the fingers out quite a bit. Really spread the metacarpals. Hands are turned out a touch. Think of your hands pressing the floor away just a little to pick your ribs softly up out of the shoulder girl, just a touch. Then hands pull the mat apart from serratus, happening from core. Pull mat horizontally apart. Chin into your throat, top of the head long. And then hips shift back like your feet are pulling the mat forward a little to reach your hips further back. Keep hands reaching out and serratus pulling hands down into the mat. Breathe. Feet pull the mat horizontally apart, middle abs lift, and reach your hips further back. You can let the ribs down and play with stretching shoulders, but then do pick them back up into alignment at some point. Good. Come forward into a plank, come onto the toes, lift the middle abs, dome the back a bit, and then pick your hips up high first, come onto toes, then bring the hips up and back, then slowly drop the heels down. All right, and then come onto the knees for a second. Let's grab your blocks back. First time, two. Blocks at the top of the mat. Left foot outside your blocks. You can turn the toes out about 45 degrees, maybe less. Tuck your right toes, pick it up, and wiggle the foot back. Good. Blocks should pretty much be right under shoulders. Drop your chest down into the shoulder girdle. Take it all the way up to down in the back and find the middle, like your ribs are supported halfway between those two. Serratus are back, top of the head forward. Roll the right hip in and down, like you're going to roll front of right hip into left groin. And then roll it open. Roll it to the middle of that. Now reach through the back heel a little. Don't drop it back, but feel it's engaged. Top of the head forward, feel one long line. Open your left knee. Start bending the elbows a little bit. Bend the knee deeper, and then let those two bend in coordination with each other. Take your stretch deep. Bring it back up, pushing through arms and legs at the same time. Straight front leg, roll the back hip open to face right. And then inner spiral right leg, outer spiral left leg. That means you're going to go to the pinky side of the left foot. Open it up again. Roll the right hip open. Come to index knuckle of the left foot. Roll the right hip forward. Good. Stay long from heel to head. Shoulders back, elbows bend a little. Drop chest a little, bend the left knee a little, hold. Get that length, serratus engaged, middle abs lifted. Now come down deeper into your stretch. Push through arms and leg at the same time to come up. Roll the hip open, roll it forward. Bend elbows, bend knee, come down deep into that stretch, hold. Just pick up your body up to straight up. Keep the hips low and bring it back down. Put the back knee down. Good, now we go. Roll over the toes. Go ahead and sit back for a minute. Stretch that leg out. Stretch the hip out. Shoulder blades back. Top of the head forward. And come back forward. From here, either go to blocks with elbows. And again, ribs have to be able to dip into shoulder girdle. You have to be mobile through rib cage. Maybe you're on second level with your blocks. Okay? I don't know wherever you're, wherever you're at, but respect that. If you can't move, you can't release, you can't get your stretch. Okay. Once you're down to the level where your ribs can drop deeper into the shoulder blade, pull and find your breath. Let's pick the ribs up out of the shoulder girdle a little. Pull shoulder blades back, the ribs forward, and drop them back down. One more like that. Feel elbows pull apart, serratus engage, pick ribs up a little. Pull back to bring ribs forward and down. Okay, now let's bring your left elbow outside the left shin. 
Elbow against the shin, or upper arm really against the shin, and then the right arm same way. Okay. You can tuck the back toes to get ready to pick up the leg if you're going to. Your left shoulder, left serratus, pull back, plugging the left pelvic bowl back. Then try to lift middle abs and lengthen the ribs forward. So hips back, the ribs forward. If you want to add body weight to that, lift the right leg up. Top of the head forward. If you want to go a little deeper, pick up the left knee, kneeling on the elbow. Breathe. Two more breaths. Top of the head forward, middle abs long, ribs away from pelvis. Bring the foot down if it was up. Bring hands back to the middle. Good. Take sitting bones back. Straight the legs, spread the toes. Okay, now try this. If you come into it this way, it's easier. Slide your leg out to the side as you bring your right hip diagonally forward and right to the top right corner of your mat. Try to get that right hip to touch down. Then elbows come forward on that same line. Okay? Yeah, if you need your pads because your elbows come off the mat or whatever, get your pads. Get yourself comfortable. If your body's not preoccupied with pain somewhere. Does not help you release gripping muscles, right? Okay, <clears throat> so in our spot of the left leg, I don't need left sitting bone on the ground. It actually should be in the air. That's normal. That actually puts more weight into the front of the right hip, which we want. We want that right pelvic bowl kind of stamped into the mat. Elbows right even with chest line. Hands in prayer. Pull back very softly with elbows. You can follow your collarbone forward a little to lengthen you out of the front of that right hip. Let's move through the breath. Inhale, bring the ribs just a touch up. Exhale, feel serratus pull back. Middle abs lift and come forward. Pull your ribs out of the front of that hip. I still not lengthen your right thighs. Do it again. Pick ribs up a little. Inhale. Exhale, elbows dig. Pull body forward. Last one. Elbows dig, pull the ribs forward, out of the front of that right hip. Think of inner spiral in the left leg. All right, and then bring your right elbow as far forward and a little left as you can put it down on the mat. Your right hand stays close, your left hand traps it there. Left elbow under the mat, pushes away to bring your ribs right, put them down. Lay your head on the forearm. It's a shoulder stretch, it should be. Keep your left elbow pushing the mat away a little bit to bring ribs further right. Breathe. Keep inner spiraling left leg to dump the front of that right hip, right pelvic bowl into the mat a little heavier. Let your ribs expand into the mat when you inhale. Good. Then start bringing the left hand back. Roll the shoulder back as you reach back. Then bend the back knee and pull the foot in. If you pull it to your right glute, it's less of a stretch. If you pull it to left glute or next to left glute, oh, let's say that again. If you pull it to your left glute, it's less of a stretch. If you pull it to right glute, bigger stretch. Next to right glute, even bigger stretch. If you still don't feel a stretch, go to that level two, same elbow, same side elbow comes up to pull in. Still no stretch, level three, switch arms, level four, come up and push down. Wherever you're at, breathe. You feel the same thing we felt a minute ago. Low belly pulling so as long. Pull the ribs forward out of the front of that right hip, right pelvic bowl. And then wherever you're at, let it go. Bring hands back or elbows back. And then either tuck toes or bend the knee and pull back in the hips this way. Or you can tuck toes, come straight to down dog. Last way, easiest way. On elbows, bend the knee. And just bring it back. And then bend the knees and come back this way. All right, however you get there, let's meet in your down dog one more time. Sitting bones back and apart. Top of the head forward and long. Hands pull the mat apart from serratus. Let that engage under each shoulders. If you just pull hands apart on the mat, you could keep your neck engaged and that's definitely not it. So these cues are to help you engage something, but you have to be purposefully thinking about engaging that something. So let your neck drop down long into shoulder girl. Let's see what that feels like. Come forward into plank. Pick your ribs up out of the shoulder girl. Drop down into the shoulder girl. Pick your ribs up. Pick the belly up. Come back halfway. Hold. Drop down into shoulder girl. Let neck hang. Pick it back up. Come back a little further. Drop down into shoulder girl. Let the neck hang. Pick it back up. Come back further. Drop down into shoulder girl. 
at the back up. Keep dropping. All right, roll over toes. So you should be mobile in your shoulder blades all the way through that range of motion. All right, let's set up for laying. Now we're good. Grab a block at the top of the mat. Red ball in front of the Actually, no. We've done that a lot lately. Let's use your pranayama pillow today. Put your pranayama pillow long ways on your mat. If you have a foam roller at home, it's not the same because it's so hard. This is firm, but it still gets. It's soft. So if you do want to try this at home and you only have a foam roller, maybe put a Mexican blanket over it or a blanket that you have at your house to make it soft so it doesn't shock your spine so much. Then you're going to sit right in front of it. Put it up against the low back, sacrum. And then lay back over it. Try to line it up so it's right in the middle of your spine. Lift your hips, bring your tail under. So you're going to walk the hips a little bit forward so that the sacrum is on the mat. Tail come under. And then legs out in front, arms out to the sides. Good. So you're going to try to let your shoulder blades drape over this ball or this uh, bolster. Inhale, let the ribs open. Hold that air in. Think of your low belly coming out of pelvic floor like you're flaring ribs and lengthening those muscles that run between the ribcage and pelvic bowl. And then exhale for as long as you can. No tucking, don't pull the hips. Just exhale. Inhale again, let your ribs open. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale, release. Bring your arms straight up above you. Palms face in, about shoulder width. Bring your hands up a little past the eyes so they're over the forehead. And then slide your shoulder blades down. Feel them kind of squeeze around your, your bolster, your front arm pillow. And slide the shoulder blades back up again. Slide them down. Feel them squeeze around your pillow, chin down, neck long. Inhale. Slide them up again. No hips, don't let hips help. Last one, slide them down. Inhale. Hold. Slowly drop the arms back. Feel the serratus under the arms, resisting the descent of the arms. Gravity pulls the arms back. Chin down, feel your neck feeling a little longer on the pillow. Inhale. Pull the air in. To pull back up, I want you to feel middle abs and serratus connect. Keep your shoulder blades pulled down the body, but also down to the floor, down into your pillow. And then arms come up really soft, shoulder blades stabbing into your pranayama pillow. Like a curl bar, get stuck and then lift. Do that again. Inhale, shoulders dropped around the pillow. As you exhale, feel shoulder blades still on the pillow. Ribs feel like they open up and over that. Low belly draws, legs out or spiral softly. Inhale. And then exhale, softly coming up with the ribs still open, low belly and serratus connected. Good. Interlace hands behind the head. Elbows in your peripheral vision. Shoulder blades pull down into your pillow. Feel shoulder blades squeeze your pillow. And then hands push the head up, which is really a pull from serratus. But the hips really is not talking to the heart. If you're out of control of the core and you want to go further, you can keep shoulder blades pulled in, pulling no abs in until the spine rolls up. If you feel your low back, stop. Go back. Roll out of it. Inhale. Last one, serratus, pull shoulder blades down, hands pulling the head, rounding up. And up. Good, bring the arms down again, get long, inhale. And bring the arms up first, and then exhale. Good, roll to one side. Pull your pony on the pillow out from under you. Bring it under the leg, right up against the tailbone. Pick your hips up. Bring it under the hips. Bye, baby. Have a good one. Bye. Okay. Feel toe feet wide on your mat. Your pillow should be basically where the back of the hip joint is. If you really drop the tail, it almost can touch the floor. It certainly drops down the front slope of the pillow. If you push with feet, you can drop pelvic bowl off the back slope of the pillow. Okay. All five fingers on the pillow with fingers facing into your body, base of the hand out wide. That gives a soft forward rotation in the shoulders. Drop both knees toward each other, but keep a little pressure in hands to keep the tailbone long on your pillow. Lift the outer feet. Let the right knee drop in and down, into your midline and down. And then start pushing through left foot, drop left knee in, 
knees graze past each other, then left knee drops in and out. Feel that stretch and so on. And switch. Just softly rolling back and forth. Feel one hip dropping in and down is what starts the other one moving away. Keep out of feet like Feel that soft rolling through the hips. And then stay center. Push your feet a little bit, arms up, bring one leg in at a time. Arms inside the legs, feet face the heels, hands go under your heels. Turn your feet out, hands still cupping heels. Pull softly, bend elbows, pulling the knees down toward the mat. At the same time, roll shoulders a little back, chin down, neck long against the mat, and hips a little forward from low belly. Let go of your right leg, bring the right arm back, right leg forward. Reach through that right big toe. Inhale. Exhale, long knee. One more breath. Bring the foot back in. Switch. Bring the left leg out in front, left arm back behind you. Keep the right hand strong on the right heel. Don't let the right knee bend forward. Keep the foot up to the ceiling. And you can rock a little right with that leg to keep it open. Reach through the left big toe. Reach through the left hand. Both are on the midline, on the center line. Breathe. One more. And bring the leg back. Good. One more. Just one breath on each side. Bring the right leg forward. Keep the left leg bent. Roll a little left to keep the left knee open. Reach the right foot forward and low. Keep your left toes actively pulling up and open. Inhale. Exhale, bring the right arm up. Let your wrist release. Bend the back. Bend the right knee back. Last time, left leg forward, left arm back. Inhale. Keep that right heel up. Don't let it drop forward. Keep right arm a little bent. Roll to the right to keep the right knee open away from you. Let the left hip reach. Bring your left arm to the ceiling. Soften the right ribs too. One more breath. And then Good. Bring one bit of time to the mat. Go ahead and do that. Feet wide across the mat or off the mat. Hands, fingers facing in, palms facing out, shoulders roll forward. And drop one knee forward and down. The other knee comes in on top of it. Switch. Drop the other knee into your center line. Forward and down. Lift the other foot. Just rolling back and forth again. So you don't have a little bit more space in the hips. And bring it up. Push the balls around to the tip of the tailbone and bring the knees back in. Hands hold knees. Elbows out wide. Rock over to the right a little bit. Keep your left elbow wide, left knee. Your left hand is pulling left knee open. Let the right arm go straight. Right leg heavy in the right hand. Get your left ribs open a little and your middle abs sink across out of the front of the right hand. To the left. Switch. Left knee open. Right knee a little in. Right elbow wide. Right shoulder blade a little bit up the ribs. Right ribs open. Middle abs sink back out of the front of the left hand. And back to center. Okay, go ahead and push your bolster out from under the hips. Roll it down. Put it under the calves if you want. So that your feet dangle in the air a little bit. Or you can just take your corpse pose without anything under the legs. Whatever is comfortable for you. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale, hands come up. Let your shoulders drop down. Even the upper part of the shoulder near the cervical spine. Let that get loose. Dropping arms back, feel low belly sink and ribs open. Inhale. Spread your toes, spread your fingers. And then as you exhale, inner spiral legs, point toes, roll the feet in, close your fists. Inhale, open it all back up. Exhale, close it all. Inhale, open it all up. Exhale, let the air leak out. Find your comfortable resting place, whether it's hands by your side, palms facing up, <coughs> hands up to the seal or up to the uh, up above the head if you want. 
whatever works. the air in at the top of your next breath. Soften hips, chest, shoulder. Let the air leak out very slowly, feeling the natural recoil inside the rib cage as ribs descend back down to the mat and toward each other. One more breath like that. Blink the eyes open, but soften your gaze, which means blur your vision. Open fingers, open toes. Inhale, bring arms up and back. Exhale, fully sharpening your gaze, closing ribs, and bring hands up. One more, drop arms back, inhale, stretch. Exhale. side, stacking hips, stacking ribs, and coming up from there. Or if you'd rather roll up by reaching forward, chin to the chest, slowly reintegrating the body. You can do that. And take a little forward bend for a minute. Okay. And we'll end with one ohm. Find your comfortable seat. Make sure you can easily extend your spine upright. You're not in a position where your hips are so tight that they're pushing you back. Right? Sit on something if that's the case. Okay, we're going to take that long, soft inhale, passive inhalation, letting atmospheric pressure push air in your lungs, ribs inflate, hold at the top. Start your om with an ah uh sound, then go to oo. Try to lengthen and release facial muscles. Save enough breath for oo mm to vibrate through your core. When you're done and completely empty, ribs closed, try to flare them back open again before taking your next breath. Here we go.
go. Good. Okay. Love the ball. The big ball, yeah. Okay. Questions, comments?